everybody, and welcome to another episode of AZ Camera Reviews. It's Saturday afternoon, I'm just kind of having a leisurely day, and uh, the guy just showed up with a package that I was waiting for. It's a small um, LCD projector, and that's kind of what I think it is. So I'm just going to open it up and see what we got inside. By the way, it looks like Amazon's using a new packaging. Uh, it says Thursday night football. So, I don't know. Anyway, let's see what we got. All right, we got the usual packaging. It looks as though this box has taken a little bit of a, a fall. It's a little bit crushed. But uh, hopefully it'll work okay. It's got a little handle on it. This is a uh, DB Power LED light source uh, smart projector. It was like a hundred bucks. It's cheap, but I do presentations and I wanted to have a small projector that I could bring with me. So I figured I'd give this one a try. So let's, uh, let's open it up. Let's see what we got. Okay. It comes packed in foam like this. Okay, let's just take the top off. And it looks as though we've got a pretty fair sized book. We've got a book, we've got some other assorted paperwork, we've got a warranty card, a remote control, power cord. And then we got an HDMI cable that they threw in. Uh, you've got a video with two audios that goes into a 3.5 inch um, AV cable. And then there's a small screw here which probably goes under, under the front foot so that you can raise it up and down. Okay, let's. Uh, Let's pull this bad boy out and see what we've got. It's kind of small. Um, seems to be made okay. Uh, it's got a nice small profile. And uh, where's that? Where did I put that little screw? It's around here somewhere. I put it down. There it is. Now that little screw goes into the bottom here and that'll raise it up and uh, lower it so that you can adjust your screen height. And on the side here, you've got an HDMI, you've got an HDMI um, uh, outlet or inlet, you've got two USB inlets, and you've got, you can put a uh, SD card in the side here. And then it's got two more inputs, one of which is probably for a regular sound input, and the other one is probably for that AV uh, plug input. And we'll go more into that later. Then you've got, this is your port for your uh, infrared for your remote control. And then you've got your standard uh, output or input from uh, from like a computer and then over here you've got uh, your power we you connect your power and then you've got your lens and it's got a little rubber band thing on here so you can take your lens cover off and you don't lose it and uh, then there's another uh, sensor for your uh, remote control so we'll go into this in a few minutes. We'll see how, uh, how it works and see what the projecting is like. Catch you then. Okay, this is a demonstration of the projector that uh, I've been talking about. In all fairness, I'm shooting this with my cell phone, so it does look a little bit on the bright side, 
because the cell phone doesn't discern between light and dark really, really well. But the picture looks darn sharp for the size. And uh, despite what's been said in the, uh, the other comments, the sound is pretty darn good. Uh, it gets pretty darn loud. But if you're going to be in a huge room, you're going to need external speakers. So I'm going to turn the light on now and let's go through some of the setup options on this thing. Okay. So let's turn the sound off. And let's, let's just go into some of the other options here. Right now, I'm going to be talking about the key buttons here, but all those key buttons can also be uh, achieved by uh, utilizing the remote also. So, let's go into the setup menu. Okay, now from startup mode, when you first start it up, you've got this screen that comes up, and you've got movie, music, and you can see Every time you go to the next one, the corner gets rounded off. You've got photos, you've got text, then you've got your source, you've got your settings, you can go back over here to source, and then it goes back up to text. You can't go over to SD or USB unless they are uh, plugged in in the back. So. Now what we can do is we can go over to our source and we hit our OK button and that'll let us toggle through the different sources. That's the AV source. This is for your uh, PC which can be a VGA input, your SD card, your HDMI, and either your cell phone input or your tablet. Now we can go back down here to we're going to go over to settings and then we're going to hit OK. So the first thing you have is your picture and for this you have a standard mode, you have a movie mode, you have dynamic and back to your user and if you go into the user mode you can change your contrast, your brightness, your color or your sharpness. Okay, so now we go back into our menu and now your projection mode. Now this will allow you to flip your picture or do whatever the heck you want. You can also um, run this uh, projector upside down which is really nice. You can hang it from the ceiling. So here's a couple more modes that you can go into. And okay, so now let's go back again. No, we want to go back into this. And you can adjust your color temperature. So you've got normal, you've got warm, you've got user where you could toggle through and you can change your red, your blue, and your green. You've got cool. You've got normal, and then you've got warm, which is normally what I use. Okay. And then you've got your aspect ratio. Your aspect ratio, uh, you can run auto, 4x3, 16x9, which are your basic ones. And then you can also go into other modes when you're um, playing a source into this to zoom one, zoom two, or just scan. Okay. And last but not, not least, you have your noise reduction mode, and that will let you go into um, either no noise reduction, low noise reduction, middle, high, and default. I like to run it just in the middle. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, we can go back into settings. 
Okay. And there's other options. There's OSD, you can change your language. You can do your um, time off, so you go into that. You can go five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, okay? Uh, your software uh, update, so you would go into this to uh, update your software, and right now it can't detect any software. Uh, you could go into faculty uh, uh, factory default, okay? So we've talked about uh, these options. Now you can set your clock. You can go in and you can set the time that you want it to go off, um, uh, how many minutes and um, how many seconds. Okay. So you can uh, go in and say what hour and how many minutes in the day that you want it to go off if it's running constantly. Okay. Then uh, you can preset it for an on time. It's got a sleep timer in it. So like, let's say you want to uh, watch a show or you're just kind of laying in bed or in your chair and you want to um, you preset it for a time to go off. You could go 90 minutes. It goes up to 240 minutes, which is pretty incredible. Okay, and then it's got an auto sleep off. And then you've got EQ. If you go into that, you've got treble. You can adjust your treble. You can adjust your bass. You've got 1.5 kilohertz, 5 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz. Okay. And then it has a surround sound feature. So you can go into this, you've got SRS, true surround XT, and then you have regular surround. So I would say, um, all in all, this is a pretty decent little projector. You can't beat it for the price. It's, uh, it's 100 bucks. And uh, for 100 bucks, I think you're getting, you're getting a, lot, a lot of product. So, I'm going to go back now and um, I am going to run this video. I'm going to go back into my sources and I'm going to hit this and I'm going to run HDMI and then uh, my projector here should come up. There it is. And I'll hit play. Now earlier, I had showed you this video, but now I decided I was going to use a little better camera that would show you a good representation of what this picture looks like. Now, the one thing is this, uh, this picture is about uh, 50 inches. It's projected on a wall in my house. I didn't have a screen and this is a textured wall. So it's not as good as the picture could possibly be. But um, you can also hear the projector noise and the projector is basically about a foot underneath the camera. Uh, it has really good sound for a small projector this size. And if you were in a big room, of course you couldn't hear it, but I think it gets pretty, plenty loud. Well, hopefully you've liked this video and it's given you some information about this inexpensive projector. I really like it. I think it's a good buy for a hundred bucks. Anyway, this is Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews. Thanks for listening and uh, please leave a comment below if you have any uh, questions. Until then, bye-bye.